Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So we're going to be talking about essentially power leveling. You're familiar with this game now. I will say for a disclaimer, for those of you out there who are starting out and you are trying to get familiar and you're having to decide between what researches you are trying to do, uh, just disclaimer, always do your monster hunting way ahead of time and then do your familiars down the road. Uh, but when you do get access to familiars, and this is one of the, I want to say once you've gotten to the proper level of, I think it's 18, but I can, you know, ch double check me if you so please. But, uh, you know, essentially, right, you, you, you can see I've got a lot of skills in here, and you can see that I've got a lot to choose from. And those of you out there uh, that have probably been watching the channel for a long time have always wondered, or probably have asked me about why the heck I have all of my gems up to 25 and why I picked all gems rather than have a bunch of spires like everyone else. Well, so let's let's actually get into that. So part of the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, okay, is essentially, all right, you, you might notice that uh, I've, I've already gone through, okay, and when I initially started doing this, okay, because I started out, you know, a little bit ahead of the curve when this actually started and came out, Okay, I was able to go straight from pack one to pack two and then pack two to pack three and then I got to pack three and just kind of stopped. Okay, and when I got there, I was, you know, I was actively trying to make sure that I got everything in pack two and this area done. I just I, I slowly went from to the top and went down, you know, and that in my opinion is the best approach uh, because again, everything is kind of stacking on itself here. So you don't really have a lot of control over it. But uh, essentially what I'm doing to power level and get the most for my buck is this is what I do. So you guys have probably seen, you know, like hell events where you're going to get merge packs come up, you know. And what I was doing is I would sit down, wait for a merge pack event come up. Uh, there's even spell, special events where you can get a reduction on the resource cost. And what I do every single day, all right, is when I go offline, I go into my talents I put all of my talents down here and I upgrade stone, timber, and ore. I don't worry too much about gold, but I focus on these three resources. Now, because I've got my buildings up to 25, and again, this is going to be different for everybody, but the idea is to produce as much resources as you can. Okay, and if you want an idea of how much you're making, you can just go over here and this will tell you, you know, and this is without talent specs or anything, it's just about 800 or 900k. All right. And that's per hour. And now when it gets up close to fill, what I do is I put it onto another account. Doesn't really matter what account, as long as I can have access to it. And I dump the resources on there so that my resources can continue to build. And then what I essentially did is when these special events come up or hell events or anything similar to that matter, I would do the merge packs. Now, the reason why I'm able to do it, and like you know, most people, is I save my speed ups, okay? I don't, you know, most people have the inclination to, you know, just right away burn up all the speed ups they have. But in my experience, guys, when you get, finally get up to about Castle 15 and higher, you really don't need to do that. You really can actually benefit from sitting around and sitting on a lot of speed ups that you get every single day just from your monsters and being able to go out and hunt them. And mind you, this is this is a helpful tip that, you know, I, I don't talk a lot about, but like right there, I got a three hour just from the guild gifts of doing level ones and twos. And my guild, we are trying actively to do as many level ones and twos as we can do as a day, because that ultimately increases your speeds and the resources you have per day. Um, but essentially by taking a good bulk of that, right, and, you know, giving helps and doing all of that, you're able to essentially accumulate a lot of speeds and a lot of resources, essentially. And what you can do with that, right, is now that you've taken the time to actually do hell events and stuff like that, the funny thing about these particular events a lot of the time is they have what are called merging speed speed ups. <laughs> it's a thing. There's also packs. Uh, funny enough, there actually happens to be a pack called Mystic Merging for the price. It's actually really good, in my opinion, because what you can do is you can basically get a ton of, you know, hours saved, especially with the merging boosts. You can essentially cut down on the amount of time it takes you to do these merging packs. And so what I was able to do, right, is by, again, not having to spend really too much money at all. In fact, I think a person could get away with doing this completely free to play 
And what you do is you basically save your resources and you do you, you save your speeds like I've been suggesting. And what you do is you you know, wait for a hell event and you wait until it's a merge pack event and do it. And you're gonna get some speed up merges. And what I did is I waited until I had you know, and again, if you really want to know the truth, okay, I do have a spreadsheet that you can use out there, but this is simple math, okay? Just take the number of whatever speedups you have, you know, say I have three, three hours, okay? Three times three is nine, you know? It's pretty simple, you know, needless to say, but off the top of my head, let's say if I had 30,000 of them, for example, which again is an incredibly large number, but you can convert that into days and then essentially with that you can kind of get an idea of okay so if i do this many packs say i do you know in my case i was doing a three spire setup the rest springs and one gym okay and i was doing appro approximately six to seven days on pack threes on pack ones it was like every three or so days you know but it that that general week worth of time is about what it was costing me okay pop of 20 percent was able to save a good amount of time doing that and so i was able to pack spin packs real easy i was able to get a ton of packs and so what i did or at least my approach to it anyway and this is in my in my opinion how to power level okay is that i went out of my way to make sure that i had a total of 120 for the actual rune stages so if you're wondering, well, how many runes do I actually need? Think about, you know, okay, at green tier, you need 10. All right, so 10 get used up to go from, you know, just to get to green. Green to blue is a little bit of a trick because you go from blue to purple is a 120, and then you go from purple to, you know, then you're stuck, right? There's nothing past that, you know, and there's nothing, there's nothing to look forward to after that. But the thing is, is those extra uh, particular fragments you get, right, Funny enough, can be used on your actual familiar's skills, okay? So you can actually take the runes that you're getting, okay? And you're essentially able to recycle them back into your hero. Now, you might or you know, you might notice, okay, that I, I don't regularly spend them. The Part of the reason is, obviously, if you use them, you'll notice that, this that, that required amount goes up. It stacks. So it, it actually uh, beholds you to save them. You don't want to go too heavily crazy on them, okay? But... Because I was able to get so many, okay, every few days I'm able to basically bulk up and make these skills go up all the way. And because I already had the runes, it was easier said than done. And so, essentially, I, all I had to do, in, at least in my case, is I went to my pack threes and got all of their runes, essentially. And then as soon as I did that, I went ahead, destroyed all of these buildings, I went straight to gems, okay? And I will say, okay, the free-to-play option here is you got to get your Mystic Boxes. Because at gold, okay, you're getting 25% into these two particular parts. If you get all three of them, that's 75% that you're getting into those two portions. That's a big, big help. But to add on to that, okay, if you get the gear, okay, which is basically your Ancestral Kit, you know, your, your kilt, kilt Kit. Anyway, the spirit mantle, for example, is 19% 6. I mean, little things like that, they add up, all right? And by being able to get these all up to 25, I'm doing exactly 19,000, all right? That doesn't sound like a lot, but to give you some perspective on how much exactly that is, we're going to look at Pyres, okay? This is level 1, mind you. I recently... You might notice that, you know, just with free-to-play heroes, just with the free-to-play, okay? And I've got most of these in gold, all right? I mean, you're looking at almost 20 hours, almost 19, yeah. And then you get that one last free-to-play, which is Oathkeeper. Mind you, I have Oathkeeper. Uh, I'll have him at gold tonight. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's 20 hours that I know of. But now, obviously, in my case, I've got a lot more than that. I have 124 hours worth of time. That's a day and eight hours. Okay, with this gear on, this guy will, like that, go straight to 20 in an instant. Okay, that is super powerful. Okay, I can immediately, once every day, okay, I can max my familiars. Okay, so it it is literally 
bonkers how much you can get out of this. And now, interesting, when you get them to 60 and you've got them completely maxed out, any XP you add from that point forward is going to a random skill. Okay, so if I really have any trouble, I can just keep putting them in and I will continuously every, you know, day in 10 hours, I'm boosting up my skills easily. Okay, it's a thousand times better than like, you know, I, I know some of you out there have, you know, suggested that, you know, what you should do is, well, you should like even out your, you know, you should like do like three of these or four of these and then hit confirm and then go go to the next one and then you know pick another one and do like this magus and then you know pick another four or five or something like that right and the idea is you're gonna try and max multiple heroes at a time and i think personally this is my opinion on this you can try that that is totally up to you but in my opinion all right if you really want to get the heroes that matter and get the ones that you want fast Okay, I recommend getting Trickstar right the hell away. I'm getting 10,000 Holy Stars from this guy randomly at 2. So I'm getting not 1, but I can potentially get 20,000 stars from this guy every 2 days. That is enormous. That's a huge game changer, especially if I can get it to 3. At 3, I could get 10,000 3 times. I could also get 100 3 times. It's a hit or miss, but it's a chance. And if you only get that every couple days, dude, that's insane. Okay, I've literally in less than a few days, I've gotten a little over a couple, tw like $20 worth of Holy Stars that I don't even have to do anything with. Okay, it's stupid funny. Okay, now, like, in the case of Mole Shaman, who I get, you guys are probably thinking, why the heck this guy? Why, why, why? <laughs> okay. I, but getting him to 60, okay, I can get my wall health all the way up, and it doesn't bother me. Like, I lose my wall health, and I'm like, eh, I don't care. <laughs> like, I could just, like this, I can get it all the way back. And by the time it's even relevant, it only takes maybe about three days, and I'll have my wall health back to normal. And that, not only that, but he's also increasing the infirm capacity. So if you guys are trapping out there, that's really, really big. That's a big deal. Okay, but in the case of like Gem and Gremlin, I mean, I'm, I'm coming back to this guy, but I mean, hello, you know, there's like, when you get this ability completely maxed out, you're talking like an extra 15,000 gems you're getting a month. I mean, that's a, that's a huge game changer for this game. Now, obviously, I, I didn't I didn't leave out Magus. I mean, who, who, who cannot say no to a full health bar? every couple days ever had that problem where you could never fill your help bar because you never had enough players magus plus uh you know uh our dear friend uh boulder yeah you take these two familiars and you've essentially annihilated the need for helps <laughs> and a couple of days you're done you're just no, no big deal easy peasy you can easily do it not even think anything of it um and even evil weevil okay I, I mean, for me, okay, at, at a million resources, and I, I can get my, you know, put put my talent specs on, I can get a million and a half into three resources. I can do his ability. If I max that ability, I'd get that once a day every day. So that's four million plus resources a day every day that I'm getting for sure every single day. That's stupid funny. Okay, but I know I've talked and I've talked and talked about how powerful the familiars are in this game, but I mean, I, I, I get I just can't stress enough okay how big of a deal that that really is because i mean getting goblin for example okay that's six to twelve million gold every day ever ever found yourself in a you know, like in a situation where you just need gold like gold digger essentially annihilates the need for gold you get that and you're done you don't need gold you very you will very quickly find yourself in a situation where gold is not an issue. It becomes something that is easy. <laughs> but you know, anyway, needless to say, that is partly what I that is the strategy that I used to get my familiars up as high as I did. And honestly, you can it only gets better if you buy the packs. Okay, like if you really want to be overpowered, okay, you could start buying into the packs, and you're going to get ahead a lot faster. And obviously, that's you know any pay to win ever. Okay, like the amount of anima is often a, a real struggle, in my opinion, you know, but that's why I say you should do those elements and stuff like that is because that's really where you're going to get a lot of it. Obviously, you'll get some of it generated from your springs, 
But, I mean, if you're really wanting to get Anima and do it in pack format, I recommend just doing your Hell Events and stuff. You're going to get Ancient Cores and stuff like that. So, if you're one of those, you know, individuals out there that want to use the Attack Familiars, and, I, 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 you know, you've probably heard about it. You know, if you're somebody out there that really, really, really wants to get somebody like Pyrus all the way maxed out, like... There you go. Like, that is the cookie cutter example that I can give you that is literally going to get you there as quick as possible. Because really, this is easier said than done for me. Like, now I'm just sitting here and copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. And I'm getting all of my familiars up to 60. And it's probably not going to be about a few months that I'll have most of them there. And frankly, I, I just, I personally cannot stress that enough. Like, how big of a deal the familiars are in this game, it's just nuts. Like... For free to play, it's insane. I really think it's 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 a game changer in this game. It really is. It's as, almost as important as monster hunting is in this game. And I'll, I'll tell you more about it in the next video, hopefully, because I I really want to discuss kind of you know like how do you get a guild motivated to do more than three hundred gips a day? You know, I I've heard a lot of people ask about it. Like, dude, I only get like a hundred, or I only get twenty, or I only get fifty. Well, I'm going to have some more advice out there for you guys on the next video, but I hope that you guys will be more than interested to maybe check that out when, <laughs> when the time arrives. But needless to say, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I have one last thing to ask of you, which is this. So, if you have, and I mean any advice on this subject at all, all right, what do you think is better? Should a person continue to go all the way to pack four? And then stop and then go back and go all gems? Or should you go up one stage at a time? Go to pack one, go all gems, max them, and then go to pack two, stop, max them, or vice versa. If you have an opinion on this and have you know some advice on this, go ahead. I'd love to hear it in the comment section. I really do want to hear what you guys have to say on this. Because this is the current strategy that I'm working with. I know some of you guys out there might disagree with me on the fact that you might be better off power leveling these familiars you know instead of one at a time try to do multiple multiple familiars at a time i personally don't feel like it's really that useful for me at least because frankly what good does it do me i really don't want to have to do one you know one or multiple familiars at a time that just that to me just takes too much time i mean frankly uh, it takes a long time to get these things to 60 as it is i cannot imagine trying to do it with like 20 or even you know, six or seven familiars at a time. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. Uh, but, needless to say, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.